Hey, Master Gardeners. I did a video last week on Circus Canadensis, our native red bud, and it was in the natural purple pink color. Well, here I am at Hartford Community College. I was riding around the campus and tra la, look what I found up above me here. It's a white one. This is a white Circus Canadensis. It's a beauty. Look at these lovely blossoms. Now, what you need to know, this is a form. This is Circus Canadensis forma alba. Forma alba, not a cultivar alba, forma. Do you know what a forma means? When we say form, it's not a cultivar, So, because when we write cultivar, it has a little quote in it. This is a form, which means it's a naturally occurring one that occurs in the wild, and then somebody probably does find that, but they find a population of them. Oftentimes species can get isolated maybe geographically because maybe like on a windy hillside, all the type of a tree happens to be really short and dwarf and they happen to cross pollinate over and over the years to the level that they, all of them seem to be of one population that are shorter. Well, that's what can happen in the wild. And that's what a form is, a naturally occurring group of plants. So this is Forma alba. And you'll see them, I've seen them before at Longwood Gardens. I haven't seen them too many other places. So this was a particularly special find for me as the horticulturist. So let's go over some, some of the characteristics. Look at how gnarly this guy is. Not exactly looking like he's in the best of shape. And this is one of the characteristics that I find of many of them. I think 25 years you've got about got it for a red bud tree. Grows maybe 20 feet, five feet tall. We'll get an overview of the general size. But this is one of the most fascinating points. Look at this Califloris characteristic. Not very often you see old, old wood that can make a cluster of blossoms. You can see it here, down here and kind of search up the stem here. Here's some more. And look, look over here. I mean, just everywhere, there's little clusters of flower buds growing. And you know what else I forgot to tell you? Uh, this, you can eat the blossoms on a red bud. That's kind of a fascinating point. But as a general, it's a partial shade plant. Take a look at these. They're both, here's another one over here. So this is Canadensa alba growing in full sun. So, and that one happens to have a little bit more of a flat shape on the top of it. But in general, that's a cute little tree worthy of everybody's garden and house. So you need to try to grow Circus Canadensa and Alba if you think you can find it.